uh, there was a great uh, a line that somebody came up with the other day that, you know, she had hoped that Britain would be like her father, who was an, mm -hmm. uh, an alderman, a local government, um, a councillor in, in provincial Lincolnshire and Grantham, where she grew up and where she was born. Uh, uh, you know, God-fearing Methodist, um, uh, hard-working, prudent, uh, thrifty, uh, and instead, you know, so she hoped that Britain would be in her father's image, essentially. Um, mm -hmm. And then, uh, thanks in, but in fact, in thanks in large part to some of the policies she pursued, um, deregulation of the financial sector, for instance, um, which transformed London, um, made London once again a global capital for finance, uh, rivaling New York, having spent 20 or 30 years being eclipsed by New York. Mm -hmm. um, instead, you know, Britain ended up being rather like her, her son, somewhat feckless, spendthrift, um, playboy with dodgy associations um, in other parts of the world mm -hmm. um, uh, you know and in, in some ways her vision of what Britain should be um, uh, is not how Britain has turned out to be the consequences of her uh, premiership both in terms of economic terms uh, and, and socially have, have not been what she would have foreseen I mean she was a, an economic liberal but a social conservative um, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure that she ever really appreciated the tension between those two things um, the economic liberalism uh, spawns social liberalism as well, I think. Mm, the, um, the, the contradictions, and, uh, of, contradictions yeah, and, of and, capitalism. Yeah, uh, and, and so, you know, her, her, her legacy is, is a Britain that is um, more relaxed in many ways, kinder mm -hmm. in some ways, uh, certainly a more tolerant place, um, mm -hmm. uh, but also multicolored, uh, polyglot, uh, multi-religious uh, mm -hmm. in some ways. Well, the Christianity is in decline, but other religions are, are thriving. Um, you know, that, that it is a very different place to that of 1979, which looks quite monochrome in comparison uh, to Britain today. And many of those developments she would not have welcomed. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, they are part of her legacy as well. I mean, she, mm -hmm. in the late 60s, she voted um, to, in favor of decriminalizing homosexuality, um, mm -hmm. which is, you know, quite courageous for a conservative MP to do at the time mm -hmm. but she would not it is difficult to believe that she would have been in favor of gay marriage um, and she certainly would oh. not have been in favor of large-scale immigration. Although almost no one who's in favor of it now was in favor of it back then you know so well, no that's true that's you true never know. but uh, you know she um, you know her, her great mission was defeating um, socialism at home and, mm -hmm. and abroad of course in some ways um, uh, and in that she prevailed, um, but in doing so, um, you know, the triumph of market liberalism had un unintended or unforeseen consequences in terms of the social arena, many of which I think she would have disapproved mm -hmm. of, but that are actually a large part of her legacy. Okay.